I'm in Karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today we're going to be making this very simple, delicious condensed milk buttercream. So I've got about one pound of butter, which is room temperature, just like this. That's about 500 grams, which is two cups, which is about half a kilo. So we're just going to put it in a large mixing bowl. For my condensed milk, I'm using, I have removed the label so that you know you could use any type or brand of condensed milk that's available to you. And I'm just going to show you how it looks like for those of you who are not familiar. It's uh, very thick like this and uh, very sweet and sticky. Okay, that's about 14 ounces. So I'm just going to start by breaking down the butter and you want it to be very, very nice, soft and fluffy that should take you about three to four minutes i also added a pinch of salt to the butter and so this is what we are looking for before you add your condensed milk we obviously are not going to be using any sugar the condensed milk is sweet enough all right so as we are still whipping you just go ahead and add the condensed milk gradually and uh, that should take you about another two to three minutes. We don't want to overbeat it. You just want it to be nice and glossy as well. All right. And if you live in a hot region, you may want to put your condensed milk in the fridge, make it cold before you use it, or also the buttercream once it's done. All right. So if you need to add any flavoring of your choice, go ahead and do it, although it's not necessary. But I did use about half a teaspoon of uh, vanilla. I'm just gonna mix it well that's it it's very simple and it's very very delicious very light it's not too sweet you could use this to fill in your cakes as well as uh, frost the cake all right so this is how it looks like it's very firm and very nice okay so i'm just gonna show you how it pipes just gonna put it in a bag So for your cupcakes, if you wish to do so, see how beautiful these pipes. See how beautiful it looks. So thank you so much for more recipes. Please visit me at our room of Zanzibar. You'll find all the measurements and ingredients in the description box below, as well as on this very last page. Thank you.